I'm doing some charting in Excel version 2013, much, much different than it is in the previous versions. I'm doing this exercise on airport passenger counts. So we have the chart open. We're going to do a clustered column. We're basing it on this data here. We're going to do a column chart, so you want to put the captions in there. That way you have a better understanding. To do a chart, we click on Insert. We're doing a clustered column chart. This is the first one here. We click on it. We push it down to here. And when you're on that, you get a lot of options over in this taskbar over here. And in here, you got design, you got format over there. I am going to zoom this up to make it a little more visible. Going in the right hand corner there, be going up and down. So we've got that done here. We want to apply a style. To do that, it says to use in the book style 8. We do that. And then we want to set the color. And to do that, it says change colors here. It says version 6 in the monochromatic, which is right here. Then we want to change the data for 2011 to white. I click in any of these panels here. Those are all selected. And it shows here, there is the paint bucket here, which shows it here. I say I want a white fill, solid fill. I click on the white here. So we have made that white. We want to give this a title. Easy way to do this, you could actually edit what's in here, and then you could just click inside the formula bar, and we type in passengers by, try to spell it right, press the enter key. Now we're going to work with the value axis here. I'm going to click on this, the, the numbers here. That's the axis here. And you have a lot of options here. This is the coloring, the effects. We're going to go over here. And then I'm going to go into axis options here. I want to make it look like millions, okay? And it says none for display units. I click on millions. Simplifies it vastly. We want to give this a title. And what you could do, you could click over here, chart elements. A lot of this is trial and error. You figure it out. We got the thing here. We click up in the formula bar. And then we're going to type in millions of passengers. Enter key. So we got that. We just want to display the data for the year 2011 only. So I click on here. Now what I want to do is I just want to see the number of passengers I had that year. And we go into this thing here. And then I could click over here. Data labels. It, it simplifies. It shows, it shows we had 92, 67, the millions of people here. And we could see how that Atlanta is our most popular airport. Next thing I want to talk about, I'm in letter G in the exercise here. I want, if I click off the chart, this is inactive, so you have to stay active. But we're going to be doing trend lines. So I'm going to scroll up here. This is trends. We're going to do like a mini chart on each one. So what we do here, we highlight this here. We go into insert. We go into these are spark lines. We want to do line spark lines. You can do columns. I click in here. The data range, we just select this here. And then we say, OK. Now, what it wants us to do at this point, it wants us to uh, put in high and low points. So we do this here. We go into sparkline color here. And what it wants us to do, we could change the color there, but we're going into the marker here. So what it's saying, we want to put black text one for the high point. So we click on high point, black, and then for the low point, we click on low point. We want to make it red. 
So it shows them there. Now they want you to put in some comments down below here. You're going to merge a bunch of cells like A36 through 41. Just scrolling here. Include F and then you do a merge in center. It says align top, align left. I want you to do analysis, so I'll just type yada, yada, yada. You could analyze what everything was here. If I highlight this, you've got a jumbo rectangle in here. And if you want to make the chart bigger, you could go into here, click on the corner, pull it down. Oops. Go into the corner, stretch it. I can work with a graphic in PowerPoint or Word. And if I go up here, I can pull this up a little higher. So if I were to preview this thing... I'll do a control P. I had it clicked on the chart there, so you see a nice big chart, which is what it should look like. If you want to print out the whole thing, you click off the chart, and then you print preview it. So it shows all the information. The text also says to add a header and a footer, trying to show you the core basics of working with the charts in Excel 2013.